Howdy, thanks for joining us on Altering Family this time. Um, as I said in our last video, we're going to start off by doing uh, some mods to this brand new um, Cannondale Cujo 24 Plus bike that we got for Lightning Dragon for his birthday. Keep going, keep going. Good job. Keep going. Good job, bud. Oh, hi. Watch out, bud. The mods we're going to do are we're going to change out the pedals. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Then we're going to put uh, tubeless, convert these tires over to tubeless so that we don't have to worry about um, punctures and whatnot. We are going to add a chain stay protector here to keep this from getting chipped up from the banging chain and to keep it quiet. And then we're also going to uh, mount water bottle cage right there. So while we're right here, let me show you the pedal. So first thing on pedals like this, you can do it with a 15 millimeter wrench. Generally, you use this 15 millimeter pedal wrench because on uh, some of the nicer mountain bike pedals, you don't have enough room to get a regular wrench in there. So on a bike like this, one side is threaded forwards, one side is threaded backwards. I always forget which is which. We're on the drive side now, and I think this one is normal thread. So, it is normal threads. So, we're going to pull that off. And there we go. Pedal's off. Now, here's the new pedal. You can see the shape is pretty different from these two pedals. The one thing you want to do when you put pedals on is you want to put some grease on it. Now, generally you just do a little bit of grease on your finger and run it around the threads. Doesn't need to be a lot, but doesn't need to be there. So we got that greased up, and then we'll just thread it on in. There we go. It doesn't that look better. You want to put a fair bit of torque on these, but you don't need too much because they um, pedal themselves right on, spin themselves on. All right, got both pedals on. Everything looks good. Color is pretty darn close, matched to the secondary color on the frame. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this chainstay protector. Now it comes with this cheesy clear plastic one here, but it's not good enough. So what you're going to need is a pair of scissors. You're going to need an inner tube, some electrical tape. So for this, I've got an old tube that's Schrader valve. Can't use this anyway. So you just cut the tube and then pick one of these lines on the tube here and just start cutting down the line on the tube. Open it up. That should be about enough. That's about half the tube. I, think I might cut this in actually in half again just to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now we have a strip of tube that we can wrap all the way around this chainstay. First, I'm going to take this rear wheel off. Because this is a regular mountain bike wheel, that's easy. Quick release. Boom. Done. Ooh, that's pretty heavy. So, with this, I'm going to take some electrical tape. Start it here. Give it a wrap or two. Cut it long. And then take the um, outside of the tube stick it to the tape, and then we can start wrapping. And I like to pull it nice and tight because it's rubber, it may as well. And you can, you don't have to wrap it too thick. It just needs one layer is all. I like wrapping a tennis racket. When you get to the end here, um, just hold it and then you can Cut it short there. You can get your electrical tape back out. Wrap this last section tight to hold it on. And that's it. And that'll keep that nice and protected from the chain. You won't hear it. It won't be flapping around. 
you won't be scuffing paint with your um, foot back here. Um, should be good to go. Next thing is the bottle cage. Bottle cage is easy. Um, you just pull these bosses off, pull these uh, little little bolts off. Pull the nuts out. Any water bottle cage will do. I had this one lying around. Always kind of tough to get them in with the um, cage on there. But. There we go, all set. Boom. So we got the pedals, we got the chain state protector, we got the water bottle cage. The last thing is to change these tires out to tubeless. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the front one off. I run on the bench now because this is bench work. So I got both the, both the wheels and tires off. Um, first thing to do is to let the air out of the tire and get the wheel off. Screwdriver's right here. Don't come in, please. Got all the doors locked. You wanna take a tire lever. Lever the feet off. Open it up, find your valve stem, pull out the tube, there we go, it's pretty heavy. So you want to take the tire all the way off, tire's all the way off, now it's going to have some sort of a rim strip on it already. And this, you can just remove. Now the next thing, you're going to want to seal these holes or else all the air will just come out. For that, we have this tape. This is special tape specifically for sealing holes like this. Um, it sticks on there and it sticks on there really well. However, it is a good idea to um, clean it well. So for this, I'll just take a little uh, rubbing alcohol get it on the um, paper towel, and then just run it over the whole rim to make sure that it's nice and clean, free of any oils or anything. While that dries, I'm gonna break down the other wheel. So this rim is all cleaned up and ready for the tape. Now this tape, honestly don't remember where I got it, um, but I bought it for one of the other bikes. It should be enough for two 26 inch wheel bikes, this is 24, should be perfect. So you want to take it, peel it back, and then you want to apply it to the whole rim. You want to cover up the um, valve hole. And when you're done, you just cut it off. The rest is for the other. Once you get pressure in here, it'll seal up everything. When you get down to the end, you just want to poke a little hole for the valve. Then we can put our valve in, the O-ring on this side, crank it down. That should seal us up nicely. Just need to put the tire back on. The tires have a direction sometimes. This one does. It's that direction. So I want to make sure I put it back on this way. You only want to put it halfway back on because we still have to put the sealant in there. Okay, so now we have the tire sort of halfway back on. And we want to take our sealant right here, shake it up, and then I think it'll take about two capfuls for this. Don't worry too much about how much you put in because um, you can always add more.
and that just goes right in the, in the tire. I do two and a half. This part kind of gets messy. So there we have the sealant just sort of floating free in there. And whenever there's a puncture, or if ever there's um, gaps in the in the bead, it'll seal it right up. So the way I like to do this is you sort of lean it up like that and then you start sealing it from the bottom and you move around to the top. So now is the tricky part. To do this right, you need high pressure, high volume of air. You really can't do it with a hand pump. So I'm going to turn the compressor on and we'll throw some air in there real quick. All right, uh, compressor's all filled up. It might kick on while I'm doing this and it's super loud, so don't be surprised. Anyway, I got my uh, press deflator. I'm going to screw this on. If you don't happen to have a, an inflator like this, what sometimes works is you pull the you pull the valve core out because these have removable valve cores, and you just use a uh, blow off, uh, you know, an air nozzle, and you just put that up there, and you fill it with that, and wait for the beads to, to snap in, and you just put the valve back in, and you're good to go. So hopefully this will work first try. Sometimes this can be kind of a pain. It worked first try. So you want to get this fairly tight. I got it at 40 pounds, pretty good. So we're gonna pull it out. So there we go. Now you're gonna see you're gonna hear some leaks at first. So what you do, um, you shake it. Hopefully the seal will seal all the leaks, and then you can take it like this and spin it and shake it. And that sealant can seal up all the leaks. You can see it bubbling out of the side there. And listen, good to go. You can hear it slopping around inside there. After a while, um, you won't hear that. It tends to dry out. Um, that's okay. So that's it. I'm going to do the other one to get it back on the, on the bike.